But <laughs> enough with baseball, thank the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and start <laughs> talking about some Jets Football. every season. So the Jets actually won, a, you know, they actually won a game in the preseason. They beat the uh, <laughs> the Atlanta Falcons, 30 to 22, and um, Bryce Petty, Rick Ryan Fitzpatrick, and Leonard Williams. Those are the guys to talk about when it comes to that game. They started in that game. Uh, Petty actually uh, went 13 for 13 for 19, 168 yards, touchdown. Um, Fitzpatrick went 12 and 19 for 118 yards, and um, Leonard Williams, the first round pick. Right. He actually made his way to the quarterback, uh, you know, over n multiple times, and um, he actually picked up like three hits, but you know, five tackles in general. And um, it's not about them winning the game, right. but it's about the fact that you know these are these are three guys that they're going to be really significant to the team in, in the most recent history, most recent days because Geno Smith is out. He's out six for ten days, six to ten weeks. weeks. Yeah, we know what happened with that. Days, he right? Got, <laughs> we, he got knocked out, so you know what happened with that. And then you have Muhammad Wilkinson. He remains to be unsigned, so. We don't know what's gonna happen with his future, so that's why a guy like Leonard Williams and him, you know, flashing the potential he showed is the Falcons really get into the quarterback, you know, at will. Right. I think this, these are you know three guys to watch to look out for when, yeah. the, when the season starts. But the thing that the question that arises with the Jets yeah. is, what about their offense? Their offense still yeah. looked troublesome in that game, yeah. and most mostly mm -hmm. the offensive line. I thought the offensive line looked very shaky in that game. Mm -hmm. That's my big question with the Jets right now. Besides the fact that we don't have any confidence of who's playing a quarterback. Mm -hmm. uh, Fitzpatrick yeah. didn't look bad. Yeah, he, he was a game manager. Was a, he was a game manager, which is what the Jets need him yeah. to do. Um, my concern is with the offensive line. I think the Jets are a very talented team right. uh, across the board. They, If you look at the team, the roster, they're playoff ready. Yeah. It's just who's playing quarterback and also how is this offensive line going to play. On the yeah. defensive side, like you said, Greg, when you have a stud like Leonard Williams who could fit right into that D line, especially yeah. with Sheldon Richardson yeah. being suspended for four games, right. yeah. this is so big to see him have that kind of performance that he did in the preseason. They're going to need yeah. that on the defensive end. Yeah. My only concerns right now, beside the offensive line on the defensive side of the ball, yeah. is them covering receivers. Antonio Cromartie has struggled. I've heard yeah. a lot about that with him in training camp. He struggled yeah. in the games to cover and tackle. Well, guys, you know they're going to be fine with Revis. Yeah. Um, but we got to see what they can do. So there's some question marks for the Jets, but eh, they're coming along. Preseason yeah. game number two. I'm Racing. confident in my green, my game green. I think <laughs> it's going to be all right. I'm not. You're not confident? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> it's not easy being green. Uh -huh.